Andrei Sadovi is a Ukrainian politician and the mayor of Lviv. Lviv is a vibrant, highly cultured and tech-savvy city, the administrative center of the Lviv Oblast of Western Ukraine. Andrei was prominent in the revolutions that transformed Ukraine and is the leader of the Self-Reliance Party. I'm incredibly grateful to you for spending your valuable time talking to us this morning. Uh, and we're on the glorious balcony uh, of your office in the center of uh, Lviv. Uh, and I've got a couple of questions to fire at you. I hope you don't mind uh, answering them. First of all, thank you for a visit. Only brave people arrive uh, to Lviv to Ukraine during war. Thank you. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. This is day three. and. Uh, I'm enjoying your fabulous city. Well, let's let's start with with the war. What has been the impact of the war on Lviv and the surrounding oblast? Russian invasion totally changed our life. Today, uh, thirty thousand my citizen uh, in front, and every day Lviv hosted uh, wounded. Uh, we built in Lviv ecosystem of humanity unbroken. Only our municipal hospital hosted 30,000 Ukrainian wounded and internally displaced people. Five million IDPs passed through Lviv during the Russian invasion, and we had days when we hosted two million per day. Every family in my uh, city uh, hosted uh, IDPs. In my home, I hosted uh, family from uh, Zaporizhia. Today, we hosted 100. 50,000 IDPs. It is war completely changed our life, but uh, today Lviv more important for Ukraine. You know, after invasion, uh, approximately 100 embassy uh, stayed in, in Lviv. But Lviv, uh, big center, support IDPs, uh, 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 wounded people, and we must continue love during war. And Lviv is now one of the most financially stable cities in Ukraine uh, and recently earned more European loans even than Kiev. How has Lviv achieved this status as a, as a dynamic, uh, you know, financially stable, growing city? Uh, during uh, war, a lot of company from Kharkiv, Kherson, Zaporizhia arrive uh, to Lviv and we uh, give uh, maximum uh, support we have huge uh, IT uh, center and uh, today we developing uh, military cluster drone uh, different uh, military equipment and uh, we must uh, work more uh, two three time it is our responsibility today it's possible uh, today in view make huge uh, things. It is not possible in, in Kherson, in Mikulai, in Kharkiv. And was the full-scale war of February last year expected and what preparations were made for it? Before uh, war, we uh, had special training with uh, York Emergency Planning College. And uh, we built it in uh, my city special group, resilience group. And we prepare different emergency situations. Six months before Russian invasion, I gave task my uh, energy department, prepare situation, transmit water to Lviv without electricity. It's not possible, but we made huge job. And we can today transmit water to Lviv with electricity. We bought a lot of diesel generators. We completely rebuilt our infrastructure. And we must all time think about different trouble from Russia. And we must look for uh, good solution. And as you mentioned, Lviv is a key transport hub for refugees leaving uh, but also now returning, because some are now coming back from Western countries and returning to, to live and rebuild their lives here. No, I think uh, approximately 50,000 Ukrainian people uh, stay in uh, Lviv uh, after war. And uh, a lot of my citizens uh, today near front line. And I think this war uh, give us uh, feeling new reality. Today, 
West Ukraine, East Ukraine, together, we, we all together. It is very important uh, message. Because historically, there are many things in common with Eastern uh, Ukrainians, and there are also some sort of cultural differences. Does that cause tensions, or have people pulled together uh, in wartime? No, today we have a good relationship with uh, Ukrainian people. Because for me, people from Kharkiv, Kherson, it is my brother, uh, sister, and my wife every day uh, spend time with uh, internally displaced people, and uh, together they improve Ukrainian language, uh, together spend time in uh, gallery. It is, uh, you must understand, during last century, uh, we was part of five different imperial. Uh, but East Ukraine, uh, last uh, 300 years, was part uh, Russian influence. It is totally uh, different understanding reality. But today, we together. And similarly, many people, uh, especially in the West, did not vote for Zelensky but he seems to have united the country through his wartime leadership. Do you think the strength he's shown uh, has helped in that process of resisting Russia? Mm, it's for me, Zelensky, my president, and if you ask my citizens, I think 90% uh, my citizens support Zelensky. Very similar situation in Odessa, in Kharkiv, in Dnipro, and uh, Zelensky mm, would uh, make uh, President uh, job. Your speeches, conversation with uh, different leader. It is good, good president. Now, you uh, founded a party to try and transform Ukrainian politics. Can you tell me the importance of transparency, openness and honesty in public life? Today, we together uh, have only one party, Ukrainian people. It is for me a different name, it is absurd. Today we have one target, victory. And we must think together. I cannot uh, think like you. Mm -hmm. You cannot think like me. We must think only together. Some of homage, self-reliance, it is not typical party. It is ideology. Today, I uh, understanding this more. I give my law, my citizens, my new citizens, and we maximum support Ukrainian army and Ukrainian soldiers. Mm -hmm. And even in wartime, is the process of transforming uh, bureaucracy, the judiciary, civil society, is the process of evolving and building uh, Ukrainian institutions continuing uh, even under these circumstances? You know, I uh, think we must be good collaboration with European institutes. I believe in uh, our membership in uh, Europe and NATO. And uh, we must, and I, I think you understand, Ukrainian victory have two parts. One part, they occupate our territory. Next part, rebuild our country. Rule of law, fight corruption. It is a huge problem, but before Russian invasion, how many people in Europe believe in Ukraine? Today, completely different situation. We have energy. We love freedom. It is our bedrock. Only forward. 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 Forward to victory. And the last question is, to achieve that full victory, what does the West need to do in terms of support? And how can individuals, you know, people watching my channel, how can they help to keep Ukraine top of mind, uh, top of mind of their politicians on the agenda? And what do people need to do to ensure that a full Ukrainian victory is possible? It's a very uh, tough time for me and my citizens in Ukrainian people. Today, we protect uh, well 
freedom not only for my country for democratic countries and you must believe in our victory i believe in our victory we must believe in our victory together never give up only victory Andre, with that inspiring message, I want to thank you so much for spending time and connecting with my audience. Hopefully they will be encouraged to go out, write to their politicians, go on marches, uh, meet Ukrainians, help Ukrainians who are abroad, and where they can contribute money to help those who are wounded, uh, to help those who have been displaced, and of course to help victory. Thank you. Support Ukraine, support freedom, I love you, and welcome will be will be maximum safe but only brave people arrive to you you brave people thank you Jakub. okay normal oh yeah beautiful